Bonafide Hustler here. We went to garage sales this morning, spent two hours looking for deals. We spent $25 and this is what we found. What's going on guys and gals? Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the outside of my house and all the stuff that's in the thumbnail of this video is sitting right here in my front yard. I'm going to show it to you and this is just a video showing what $25 at a random garage sale day here in Austin, Texas in the month of October looks like. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Bonafide Hustler and you can get the free money making guide right here. First link down below, go check it out. Go get this guide. It'll teach you 50 items that you can start looking for to buy and resell that are predominantly used. And you can go make some money on this kind of stuff. So yeah, all this stuff is sitting right here. Well, I didn't get this chair at a garage sale. That's my chair, but I had to sit in something for the photograph. But yeah, we got all this kind of stuff. There's even one item I didn't put in the picture, but Let's show you the items. Let me flip this phone around. Let's kind of see these deals. The first find in the morning, surprisingly for two bucks, was this redhead, I think it's called a redhead. Yeah, it's a redhead hat, it's pretty neat. It's almost like a wax cotton type or a wax canvas type hat, very neat hat. This in the booth would sell for about 15 bucks, so I decided to swing for two bucks. Okay, so here's like the main stuff that we bought for $25. And my girlfriend, she saw this at a garage sale right here. This was five dollars this is a stained glass lamp these things do really well in the antique booth and even on facebook marketplace but something like this easily could sell for about 50 to 80 bucks on these local avenues and at the antique mall that we have a booth in so this is where it gets kind of interesting because for eight dollars we got these two machines we got that crate we got this target and we got those two glass things over there all right so i'll show you more of that but that's for eight dollars so each one of these things um these are old uh antique singer sewing machines and each one of these look at that even the needle goes down and up looks pretty neat right so each one of these will probably resell for 50 to about 70 bucks in the booth that was part of the eight dollar deal right there and these are not this is not in the condition that we bought them in but we kind of already have taken most of the dust off but obviously we're not going to do full resto on anything like this but it's a neat kind of machine it's not a red eye or anything like that but it's still a neat machine definitely old um and uh it's after 1900 as well per the actual um patent and per the actual um you know thing right here which is the serial number yeah not a bad find at a garage sale and in fact that same garage sale had this now this thing has some issues you can see it's missing a plank but these coke crates easily in the booth will do you know 15 to 20 bucks in this condition if it was a much better condition it'd be closer to 50 to 70. then we got something like this that was part of the eight dollar deal you go to an average dick sporting goods academy you know one of those kind of places these things are running between you know 30 and 50 bucks maybe even more this is an archery target right here and it's a way for you to you know kind of practice before you get out into the wild to actually shoot some stuff so um this one doesn't look like it's actually been hit much or at all in fact i only see a couple places where arrows might have gone in but outside of that's in great condition i'm probably going to keep just because i want to get a bow and arrow or a crossbow and i want to start practicing so you know you save money when you go to garage sales as well for things that you kind of want to have in your normal everyday life and this was one of the coolest things that i found today i've always wanted one and it kind of sounds stupid because i could just go to a store and buy one but at the end of the day you know, I try to have my hobbies line up with the things that I find at garage sales and thrift stores. And the timing is kind of dependent on if I find them at that time. Also part of that deal were these two glass containers. Now this on average, these are antique ones. These on average will sell between about 27 to about 45 bucks in an antique booth. So that one's a pretty nice one right there. More than likely used to store water or wine or something like that. This one's interesting in the sense that it has a hole cut out. And so this one is probably better for a plant but still it's probably going to sell between 25 and 45 bucks it's pretty cool looking but yeah these things i've done really well with these in the antique booth especially so i pick them up when they're super cheap of course this was part of that eight dollar deal as well this is a no-brainer at a garage sale at least for me i have the vintage booth and this is just a window pane with like a shelf built into it and it's got these fake flowers and everything this was five dollars at a garage sale and this more than likely would sell in the vintage antique booth or just even on local avenues for about 80 to 100 dollars no problem it's a perfect thing for like the entryway of a house or something like that by far the best find of today is very unsuspecting so i'm going to show you this five dollars and i haven't even like taken all the dust off of it or anything like that we have a pelican 1510 rolling case and it really looks like it has not been used much at all check out these bottom wheels you know what i'm talking about i mean just look at that that is in really good condition so a pelican 1510 could be used to like transport cameras like expensive kind of electronics 
Um, this is a rolling case as well, and obviously it is waterproof, right? So you open these things right here, and then you have all this, and you have a lot of ways to take some of these things out to make it to a perfect dimension for whatever you're putting in there. But very nice kind of case, and it's a genuine Pelican as well. There's the pressure thing right there. Locks real good, sounds good. $5 at a garage sale, asking price 10, right? The sticker's still right there, it says 10. Um, this on eBay sells for like 150 plus. So I'm thinking locally, um, have it simultaneously listed for like 120 or so. But that's definitely the best find, most unsuspecting kind of find, but I know about these kind of cases and I buy and resell Pelican cases when I find them at garage sales, but this is probably one of the better condition ones that I've found. Um, but yeah, remember this 1510 case, but just remember any rolling case that Pelican makes, it's kind of like this, any dimension really, it's gonna do very, very well because these cases are oftentimes like 300 to $500. So if you're out there and you wanna buy a Pelican case, you know, finding one on Facebook Marketplace or on eBay for 150 or 120 is quite the deal. But those are the finds from today and I decided to put a video together. I'm sorry I didn't make the vlog of like actually how we like brought it home or, you know, in the action of finding this stuff actually at the garage sale, I just didn't really think today was gonna be that great of a day. What's even more crazy is my little small spaceship was filled all the way to the top. Yeah, that was a little uncomfortable, but I didn't bring the SUV out today and, you know, it got kind of close to that kind of day where maybe I needed the SUV, but pretty cool stuff. So yeah, $25, fair amount of resale profit. What do you guys and gals think? Put a comment down below and I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy. Goodbye.